In this video, we're going to discuss several types of financial aid that could be available for international students who are attending college in the United States. So unfortunately, if you are not a United States citizen or an eligible non-citizen, you will not be eligible for federal financial aid in the United States. So that means you won't be eligible for a Pell Grant, for federally subsidized student loans, and so forth. However, there are certain types of non-federal aid that might be able to help you pay for college. So I just want to talk about some different funding sources for your education. First off, you might want to check with your country of citizenship to see if they have any kind of scholarship or aid or grant opportunity to attend college in the U.S. If you can get a scholarship from an outside foundation, there might be some foundation that gives scholarships to people from your region of the world or your country, or you win some kind of merit-based academic scholarship, that can help you. But most importantly, you can get aid from the institution itself. And when I say institution, I'm talking from the college or university that you'll be attending. So the college has funds that it can give out to students that it really wants to come to the college, right? It's not just dependent on how much federal aid, how much Pell Grants, that's money from the federal government. The college can give out its own money. The college can give out need-based grants. The college can give out scholarships. The college can even give out loans. And so you have all these opportunities at the college and it depends on a college by college basis in terms of how much funding they have in grants and so forth. More elite colleges are going to be able to meet more of your financial need and they might have more grants and scholarships available. But whatever college you're interested in attending, you should definitely check with them and see. They might even have scholarships specific to international students. So in that case, you actually want to make sure that you fill out the FAFSA form. Now you should check with your college and ask them, but they might tell you to fill out the FAFSA form even though you're not going to be eligible for financial aid because they might use it, the college itself, in determining whether you're, you're eligible for a need-based grant. And they might even have you fill out the CSS profile form as well. But you should check with your college's financial aid office and see if you need to fill out either of these forms. In addition to grants and scholarships and loans, your college might be able to offer you a teaching assistantship. Now, assistantships, at least the, the, the best kind, usually go to graduate students, right? So you're doing a master's degree or a PhD or something, you can get a teaching assistantship, and at some colleges, that will actually pay for free tuition and they'll be giving you a stipend. They might be giving you $800 a month or something like that, right? Other colleges might not give out free tuition assistantships. They might have assistantships where you help a teacher 10 hours a week and you get a certain salary, but they don't cover your tuition, or maybe they have a half tuition assistantship. But for graduate students, you absolutely want to check and see if your university is going to offer assistantships. And in many cases, they will reserve some of those assistantships just specifically for international students because they know that you won't be able to qualify for federal financial aid and they want to help you pay for your education. So you should definitely, definitely check into that with your, your college that you're interested in attending. Also, the state in which your college is located may have grants itself, right? In many cases, states do have grants that usually go to in-state residents, people who live in the state, they, and they attend a, a college in state, then they get a certain grant. And a lot of times, international students might not be able to qualify for any of those, but it's definitely worth checking. And the last resort would be you could always check and see if you can get some kind of private loan. Although it is rare, it is possible for international students to get a private loan. You may require a co-signer, somebody to sign on the loan and, and basically agree to repay the loan if you don't pay the loan. Uh, so, you know, that's obviously not the best case scenario, but you definitely, you definitely absolutely want to go to the college itself and say, hey, look, are there any grants or scholarships for international students? And if so, should I be filling out the FAFSA form or the CSS profile? 